Hello everyone and welcome to our first kids time um, at Thursdays at 10 o'clock. We're so excited to see you and we hope you like what we have prepared for you today. The first thing we want to do is give a few shout outs to some kids who left their names in the comments of the video last week. We want to say hello to Keslin and Kendricks. We want to say hello to Kennedy and Carson. We want to say hi to Addie. And then of course my own children will want to hello. So hello, Lilia, Caden, and Callie. Um, if you would like your child to get a shout out next week, just put their name, their first name in the comments below. We'll gather them up and we'll say hi to them next week too. So the first thing we are going to do is sing some of our most popular songs from our kids program. And since the ones we said hello to right away um, have been to our kids programs before, we're gonna use your name in our Choo Choo song. If you know this song, you can always replace your child's name in for some of the ones that we're saying. Um, but what I'd like to say before we start any of the songs is it's okay if you're not a trained singer. Andrea and I are not trained singers, but your children will just love it if you sing it out and you just participate the activity. They'll just love it. So don't be afraid to join in um, singing along with us. So our first song is Choo Choo and you get your hands ready to be like a choo choo train. Okay. Choo 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 up the railroad track. Choo 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 then we come right back. First we go to Keslin's house and then we go to Kendrick's house. Then we go to Kennedy's house and then we go to Carson's house. Then we go to Addie's house and then we go to Lilia's house. Then we go to Caden's house, and then we go to Callie's house. Then we come right back. Choo 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 up the railroad track. Choo 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 choo. Then we come right back. Great job. Okay, our next one is the TikTok song. And normally we would sit crisscross on the floor and have a child in our lap. So you can do that and then when we get to the cuckoo part, you can either lift them up or they can jump up based on the number of times we say cuckoo. So first is one o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now I'm striking one o'clock. Cuckoo! And now two o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock, tick tock, tick tock, now I'm striking two o'clock, cuckoo, cuckoo, and last time we'll do three o'clock, tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock, tick tock, tick tock, now I'm striking three o'clock, cuckoo, 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 <laughs> great job. Okay, the last one song we're going to do is Sleeping Bunnies. And to show you how the actions go, Andrea is going to be our Sleeping Bunny. So your children can follow what Andrea is doing and you can sing along with. Or if you don't know this song, this one's not quite as popular, um, you can just listen to me sing along by myself this time. See the bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we try to wake them with a merry tune? They're so still, are they ill? Wake up, little bunny. Hop, little bunny, hop, 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 little bunny, hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Great job, Andrea. <laughs> that you. one's a favorite with our kids, so you can always rewind this video and play it again if you want to do that one another time. Okay, so for these kids' times, we're talking about going through the alphabet, and so today we're going to feature the first letter of the alphabet, which is the letter A. We have a great big green A here in the middle of our pictures, and A can make a couple different sounds. It can make the sound A, ah, as in apple, or it can make the sound A. So today we're gonna to show you some pictures that have words that start with the letter A. So our first picture here starts with the letter A and it says animals. So we have all different animals on this page. Then we have a giant ant. I hope I never see an ant that big. So here's our ant. And then we have an A for the word apple. 
and then A for the word alligator. And we also wanted to show you that every week we'll have an item here that starts with the letter. So this is our apple. And then we also have a craft that we did in story time once upon a time with the letter A and we just turned an A on its side and we put teeth on it and an eyeball and I bet you can guess what it is. It's an alligator. And now Lindsay's going to share with you a little activity that you can do at home. Okay, so this is pretty simple. Um, if you're older, you can draw a big giant letter A on a paper, or uh, if you need uh, mom or dad or caregiver or big brother or sister to do this, you can just draw a big giant A on a piece of paper. And we've given you some ideas, but you can come up and think of anything that starts with the letter A. So maybe you think, I wanna draw a big giant ant. So you can just draw a big giant ant here and draw an ant here. Maybe you want to have it crawling on your letter A. Or you can draw an apple. And mine are all black because I just have a Sharpie here, but you can color them in different colors. And you can draw tons of different things that start with the letter A. Um, if you want, you can take a picture and post it down in the comments below so we can see what you've created. We'd love to see if you're um, doing this activity with us. And just a note to the parents, um, it's okay if you can't tell what the item is when they're drawing. Um, maybe you want to write below what it is. Um, just letting them be creative and use those fine motor skills are just a great skill to develop in these younger years. So we'd love to see what you're working on if you decide to do the activity with us. All right, next what I'd like to do is share with you some of the stories that we have here that feature the letter A or things that start with the letter A. So this first book is called The Lady with the Alligator Purse and it's by Nadine Bernard Westcott. The next book we have is a book on CD, and this book is called The Ant and the Grasshopper, and it's retold by Blake Honan. This book is a board book, and it is called Apple Pie ABC by Allison Murray. The next book is also by Blake Hona, and it's called Alphabet Safari, a song about drawing with letters, and this includes a CD as well. And this last book is called Animals Should Definitely Not Wear Clothing, written by Judy Barrett. And you can see in this picture, it's a porcupine wearing some clothes, and that does not work very well. So that's a funny book to read, too. Um, these are some great books that if you are interested in the title, you can maybe jot down the name and the author. And when we open back up, you can come and find those books and have your own little A story time at home. But in the meantime, um, we would like to encourage you to check out our online resources of Tumble Books and the Libby app. They have tons of great kids books and actually books for all ages for the Libby app. And so if um, in the meantime, you can take a look at those. If you need help getting on those resources, please reach out to us. You can call the library from nine to five, Monday to Friday, or you can email us at info at orangecitylibrary.org and we would love to help you get access to some literature online so your kids can enjoy some of these books. Well, we wanna thank you for joining us today at Kids Time and we hope that you will watch our video and like it and subscribe. And also if you want a shout out to your kids, make sure you include that in the comments. So thanks so much for joining us and have a wonderful day. Bye.